Whatever happened to hello? Listen, let me take you to dinner. Ooh, ooh, I got a better one. Have you ever heard of... No, I don't want to date you. Oh, and of course, I have a f***ing white best friend screaming, laughing, acting like she's drunk after one smeared off. Because you're the type to complain that a guy is too nice. Some girls will just say, no, I don't want to date. But you're a white ass with screenshot and put it on your story. And think it's funny. That's called trust. That's when the not trusting comes in one guy doesn't want to take you that doesn't mean no other guy doesn't want to take you there's a crap ton of guys out there that probably want to take you and if the guy doesn't say oh hey what about for asking to go out since you're on your phone 24 7 why don't you mention them that you know like hit up it's fun once in a while i should the fuck <laughs> want to hang out with you with your white ass friend in the background and, like scream laughing dude if we would have gone on, go on a date your best friend would be your best friend you're the two motherfuckers <laughs> That kiss in front of the boyfriend, and then you're like, period, boo. Oh my god, dude, it hurts my heart. Bro, I'm surprised you even got any friends. Like, seriously, bro. Like, I cannot think of anything else that could make me hate you more. And if he doesn't acknowledge it, and if he doesn't message you, then just... Either A, just take it that you failed and just move on. B, ask him. Or C, he's probably going through something and he doesn't want anyone to message him and he doesn't want to message anyone. Oh, guys leave you undelivered. Yeah, it's probably because we're trying to spell beautiful. Like, really, I have a girl that's still added on Snapchat and she hasn't opened my message from two months ago. She does it to multiple guys, too. She went on her story and started scrolling down on it. It was like, if I don't open up your messages, it's because I don't like you. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You're a fucking... I can't say the word. You're the one to walk up to a black person or African American since you all snowflakes and say I'm racist. And just pull up the Black Lives Matter symbol and then be like, hey man, Black Lives Matter. Is this the lady, is this a white lady offending you? Like, I'm white, but is this better? Is this white lady offending you right there? Oh my god, you're like so racist! Why would you be offended this white man? Black man, I mean, like, oh my god. Like, she's just asking for a fucking big man. Just give it to him for free. Says he's going through this hard life. <laughs> oh my god, the African American guy just stood there, like. Like, dude, and also just your bestie. Oh my god, like, oh my god, like, ah, 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 ah. that's what she's dude. That's like seriously what she's doing. Uh, like, dude, bro, oh my god, and the only thing I can give it to you is that your window, that your mirror was actually pretty clean, bro. Like, like, actually, props for that. There's a titty fan. Okay, first of all, guys, um. Videos like this, um, you can send them to me. Send them to me. Don't be a pussy. Come on, man. Try to me. Oh, like this is my point. I'm trying to make girls wear bras with seriously no tits. God, fucking <laughs> Like seriously, being dead honest. A t um, a five month old dog. That's a female, probably has bigger titties than you. I sure the fuck will hit you up. Have any of you guys saw that one picture where was like, my boyfriend's abusive. She posted on the story and the guy was like, you okay? She goes, um, um, I have a boyfriend. Stop texting me. And the guy's like, question mark, question mark. You know what? I hope we beat you again, bro. But yet, it's not the boys. Like, Jesus Christ, girls, you guys have so much easier, dude. Like, <sighs> When girls sleep in the same bed and they don't have to wear socks. But what guys do? <laughs> they gotta wear socks and it gets uncomfortable. <sighs> but the boy sucking your toes is okay. You know, I think I'll tell you the story of my life. No way. I want you too. I was born in Animus, North Dakota a long time ago. Pretty much like this. If you were the Christmas day.